Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Radku Tarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading. Um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so this is going to be Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Moon, and Aquarius Rising. Weekly Tower reading November 4th to uh, November 10th, 2019. And uh, bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards. And we can jump right into it. So the first card which stands for the topic of your week, Aquarius, this is going to be the Hierophant. Followed by the next one which represents the challenges that you need to overcome throughout the week, that is going to be the Ten of Wands. Then what follows, it is the positive aspect of the week and we do have the Ace of Wands here. And the last one which is the guidance that Tarot is offering to you, that will be the Five of Pentacles. A very, very interesting week, it is what you do have ahead for what it seems. Alright, so... <clears throat> Hierophant here is going to be catalyzed with the Nine of Pentacles and it is something that I suspected, well it, it may not, it, it could have not been the Nine of Pentacles here but definitely um, the card that catalyzes the Hierophant, by the way this is a active, uh, passive, excuse me, passive supporters, it's all about a, a personal conviction <clears throat> that you can make a leap forward career-wise or relationship-wise. What is going to be the problem? Well, the problem here, it is, um, how can I classify it really? A lack of trust within one's capabilities, within your capabilities. And that's why we do have the Hierophant. So the week itself is going to be most likely where you are to spend time with some sort of a... Um, it could be a mentor of yours, right? Or it could be a person who is very experienced. It could be as well someone that you feel very mm, comfortable with and so on and so forth. But the whole point is that you are to have a, a benevolent support coming in your way throughout the week that will manifest itself through a deeply meaningful conversations through which uh, you are to find out that your personal insecurity can be resolved uh, when you look in the framework on into already existing concepts, I would say. So what I am trying to say here, uh, Aquarius, it is that uh, the only thing depriving you from being successful, so I would say, uh, it is that just you need to close your eyes, right? I, I don't know eyes and make a, a leap forward toward a um, harmonious relationship, for example, or toward a business endeavors and uh, so on and so forth. But um, the week itself, but, 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 but what those uh, meaningful conversations are going to be, uh, regard, uh, what they are going to regard to, it is how exactly to do it. That That is the real issue, okay? And if I have to give myself for an example, let's say, uh, if I want to open a, a business, I am very, 
I'm knowledge deprived of how I should establish that business. So I will need a business advisor, right? If you uh, have insecurities into a, approaching a relationship, then this is what you're going to talk about with that experienced person who probably have a numerous relationships behind their back. And uh, they are going to simply teach you, you know, how to deal with your personal insecurities so you can become more confident and so you can start reaping as successes here and there and wherever you go. So, um, <clears throat> It is quite a, a positive one uh, for a reason being we are going to see that into a positive aspect of the week. But definitely uh, Aquarius at the end of the day, uh, it does look like that you are going to set yourself straight. OK, but it's, it's if you have been wobbling here and there trying to find your way, how to progress forward career wise or relationship wise, it looks like that this recipe that you need for success is going to be divulged to you throughout this week, November 4th to November 10th, 2019. Uh, what is going to be the issue here though? What is going to be the challenge? We do have the Ten of Wands and it is accompanied with the Queen of Pentacles. So we do have an, an active neutrals in this particular case and it is pretty obvious, at least to me with these two cards, it is that uh, you will have to adopt a, a new ways of performance or kind of like you have to, it's not exactly new ways of performance, but let's say you have to um, resign in regards to how the traditional way is of being successful career-wise and being successful relationship-wise. So uh, for many of you, because of the first couple of cards, that will involve you throwing yourself outside of your, of it's not even your comfort zone, but let's say things that you're used to do, okay? If I have to give myself for an example, once again, I never gifted a flower really to a, a woman because I don't think that that is something substantial, but maybe that is the normal way. As a matter of fact, that is the normal way, okay? It's gonna make me a bit un uncomfortable. Yeah, I will have to go out of my ways, all right? But in the same time, it is what is going to produce results. So uh, the challenging wise uh, here, it is to understand that um, sometimes those uh, repulsive actions do really produce results. And if you do want to reap a success into those fields that you do want to, you actually need to play by the rules, okay? There are things that cannot be overlooked. There are things that cannot be neglected. And those things are exactly the challenge that you need to fit into your current plan, if you will, into your current life, uh, into your current performance, and so on and so forth. And additionally to that, as the Queen stands here as well, there are to be some actions that you have been taken up until this moment. You are to find they're a bit futile and they are not going to produce any results in regards to your goal and in regards to your um to your aim at that current at that current stage. Right, they are they have to be conserved for a, a future stages of uh, your future relationship, for example, or of a of your future a career improvement. And so, the next one it is in regards to the positive aspect. We do have the ace of wands here accompanied. Wow, look at that, accompanied with the uh, strength card, and that exactly gives us why you are gonna feel or why you are going to be in such a way, a bit, you know, with a lack of self-belief, with a lack of confidence. That is because on a positive end throughout the week, and a very gainingful enterprise is going to appear. And an enterprise or, an, uh, or a, a door that opens for you that you will want to be successful in at all costs. Simply for you, failure is going to be out of the question. Very enthusiastically, it is how you're going to face it. And it doesn't, it doesn't look like that whatever anybody tells you, uh, how do I say it? So uh, it doesn't matter what people tells you about it, either it's going to be productive or not. You will simply want to go that way. How 
that is going to be the problem. You will not be able to at least on your own to figure out the way how to be productive in there, how to mesmerize the woman you want, right? Or how to be successful in this business. And that's why you're going to have that, that support through a, the meaningful conversations, through the teaching, counseling here that will um, help you figure out your way through, all right? And uh, the last one, it is um, guidance that Tarot is offering, and that is the Five of Pentacles accompanied by the Page of Cups. Here we do have a passive friend, and um, it's um, now in my head is is turning on this song of uh, YMCA, you know, that no one does it by themselves, and this is what those cards are saying, especially with the Five of Pentacles. That whenever you feel insecure, you don't have to face it on your own, okay? You don't have to be alone in this. And additionally to that, the Five of Pentacles um, encourages one to have a, a very big mental strength, I would say, in order to abstract themselves from um, any thoughts of failure and instead of focus on what one can do in order to prevail into current situations. And in this case, what you can do is to um, lead yourself, I would say, into a person who, who already have been there and succeeded, into a person who very well knows how this game is played and it is a very good player in it. Maybe you are not gonna like the rules, but if you do want a success, those are the rules that you have to play, which it is the catalyst here pointing that this week will make you simply more wider person. What I mean here is that uh, instead of focusing on the minor details um, that are causing you, um, causing causing you feeling uh, insecure, feeling incapable, you know, and feeling with a lack of confidence, you are going to attend or you should attend more to the overview, which um, itself is going to uh, force you to make some repositioning or rather like a uh, assessment of yourself, clearing, uh, clearing noxious understandings, for example, clearing a noxious perf um, perspectives as well, and in generally preparing yourself for a big change that it is to come because a big change it is to come when you finally succeed with your, um, with your strafe. <clears throat> so the only thing that you are lacking is how to start with it. And it looks like that this week, it is uh, the week where you're going to find out. So that being said, Aquarius, this was your weekly tarot reading, November 4th to November 5th, uh, 10th, 2019. Hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.